There you are, Zen Fitz. <laughs> I've been gone for uh, a while. Uh, Zen Fitz left me. Uh, and then suddenly today, everything fits. And I'm back. So I wanted to talk some more about Zen Fitz. This is a Zen Fitz is, is ambiguous in that it means a Zen Fit is nothing fits or everything fits. Which is it? Is it one or the other? Is nothing fits? My life's a mess. I don't understand anything. I'm all screwed up. I'm dis discombobulated. Nothing fits. Nothing fits. Where is the fit? Where is the fit? We all have these fits. You can't put a puzzle back together. You can't fix a, fix something. You have a, 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 a zit, a zit or something. You have a zit you can't get rid of. You got a problem. Uh, you, you got you, you got a disturbance, you got an itch, you got a nagging, you got a zen fit, nothing fits. And then suddenly, miraculously, everything fits. And you look around and nothing's changed. Like just a moment ago, I had a zen fit. I've been having a lot of them this morning. <laughs> but just before I turned on this, I had several zen fits. One of them was, let me see if I can show you. See, there's my uh, foyer, right? And uh, the morning sun comes through there and and, uh, and uh, overexposes my image. So I have this uh, 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 clothes rack I got out of a, a suitcase that I hang over the window. So I was getting ready to, to go on live and do my, my Zen fit and... I couldn't find the darn curtain to go over the, to block the sun. You know, and I was, where did, oh fuck, where did I put that? And I'm looking in all the closets. <laughs> and then I come back and there it was. I had hung it on the back of a chair. See, there's the, see right there? Well, I can't see. There's a, there's a chair there that I hung it on, but it had dropped down so I couldn't see it. There it was. And, uh, so I, my whole morning has been kind of like that, uh, uh, when suddenly what you thought was a Zen fit is that everything fits. Uh, I've been having, I call it keeping dementia at bay. <laughs> so maybe you go through a series of, maybe you're going through a series of fits where everything is screwed up. You can't, you know, and, and 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 then suddenly everything is okay. Everything is where it's supposed to be, and I just missed it. So the 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 window shade was where it was supposed to be, where I left it. But it's been months and months, maybe a year, I don't know, six months since I've done a Zen fit. So I had to go through the whole process of setting up again. I I couldn't find the curtain, and then I started to turn on Facebook, and I couldn't remember how to get on Facebook Live. <laughs> I had to go through and relearn everything, and um, so so if you get this get the metaphor of a Zen fit, uh, you can really work with it. So Zen fit is like oh oh shit where is it? Here's a here's a Zen fit. My favorite Gestalt image of ambiguity. Now, if you see an old hag, that's all you see. But then suddenly you can see a princess, and that's all you see. And then you flip back and you see the hag, and you, then you see the princess. Now, of course, I'll give you a little hint. Uh, the hag here, here's her right eye, and here's her nose, and here's her mouth, right? And she's looking in... in <laughs> that direction. And then here's the princess. Now she's looking in that direction and you can see her right ear and you can see her little eyelash and you can see her beautiful chin and here's a necklace. So there's a necklace for the princess and a mouth for the hag. This is a classic metaphor for ambiguity. The hag is a complete picture, and it's different from the princess. The princess is a complete standalone picture, and it's different from the hag. But in the Zen fit, they're the same, and they can't be separated. 
But everybody experiences this when they first look at it as either, oh, I can see the hag. Oh, I can't see the princess. I've been looking for hours. I can't see the princess. Where is it? Or, I, I see the princess, but I can't see the hag. Where is it? I've been struggling. Mm, I can't see the hag. I can't see the hag. Where is it? And then you relax. Ha! <sighs> there it is. It's been there all the time. There's my curtain hanger. It's been there all the time. There's my glasses. <laughs> They've been there all the time. <laughs> I, I, had a, I had a hilarious Zen fit the other day. <laughs> I have uh, plates, uh, upper, upper and lower plates, and I take them off at night, and I put them in a glass. And I have a sink in the bathroom, and it's got an open drain. And I usually put a little drain holder there. And uh, and uh, but this morning I didn't. And I and I my I get kind of groggy, you know. And I go in the bathroom, and I and I pour the the water cup, uh, the glass of water with the with the dentures in it in my hand, you know. And then I I put some uh, fix it in on them and stick them in my mouth. But this morning I poured it, in, and then I heard this plop. And I and I. And the drain hole was there and says, oh, shit, one of my dentures went down the drain. <laughs> and I hear, I heard that plop. And I saw that my dent, that, and, 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 and what I perceived was that one of my dentures had gone down the drain. So, I think it was my, yeah, so my lowers, my, so I put my lowers in. And I said, oh shit, my ditch. So now I begin to look under the sink to see where the trap was and how hard, what was going to have to call a plumber. And then, and then, uh, I, you know, and I, I got out of wrench and I realized that I couldn't do it myself because the bolts had corroded and I was going to have to replace the whole thing. And, and I, when I lean over like that, I get vertigo and get nauseous. And so I knew, oh, I'm going to have to call a plumber. So I was going through all this fit, you see. And then I began to notice, you know, my mouth feels pretty good without them. And uh, maybe I don't even need the dentures. I just forget about it. <laughs> and then later, so I'm telling my wife I lost my dentures and we're laughing, oh, how keeping dementia at bay. And, <laughs> and so then later on that day, wait, wait a minute. Fuck, they're in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been writing about it all day. I was writing about uh, my favorite haiku, an old pond, a frog jumps, plop. And I heard that plop in the morning when I poured my dentures into my hand. I heard that plop. I heard that plop, really. And so uh, uh, th there was the plop, and then there was the See the, see the ambiguity in this, that, that the, the, the plop, uh, I, I saw clearly, I heard that plop, and I saw that my dentures I was gone in the sink, and yet it was okay. <laughs> and then I saw through the, you could say, dementia, <laughs> and I already had my dentures. And, and uh, where, where was the whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing went pop. So the plop is a pop. When you get caught in a zen fit, you're looking for this, you're looking for that, and nothing fits now. Oh, fucked, I'm fucked, it's fucked up now. These are everyday moments. There's a, there's a, uh, there, there's a, 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 there's a zen fit in every moment where nothing fits. And then the more you look for the fit, the more more uh, disparaging, or, or or the more the the greater the separation between the hag and the princess. It's like they separate. I can only see the hag. Where is the princess? Or I can only see the princess. Where is the hag? And it gets bigger. And as it gets bigger, we get more tense. We get more stressed. We're stretched out. We're stressed out. I can't find the, I'm supposed to see the princess, but I can't see it. Where is it? Fuck. 
Or I'm supposed to see the hag. Where is it? I can't see it. Well, so we try to focus. We focus the mind. We focus the attention of the mind. We come in with all of our concentration and powers. I look. I get a flashlight. I get the neighbors to look. Uh, I get the doctors to look. I get everybody. I get. Uh, I go on the Google and get and, and get everybody to look for the for the hag. I can't see the hag. You see. And the tension gets greater, and I have a nervous breakdown. I start taking Medicare, start drinking martinis. <laughs> I can't find the hag. I can't find the princess. Where is it? This, the gap's too big. And I know it's right here. I know there's a fit for the fit, but I can't find it. And the tension creates neurological disorders. It creates a bad posture. It creates a wars. Israel and, and uh, the Palestine is yeah, the Zen fit. The peace is right there, but they can't find it. So this is a metaphor. And that's why I love this Zen fit, because the answer is always right there. What I'm looking for is right there in front of my eyes. My dentures were in my mouth. <laughs> and I created a whole scenario. But the plop was real. I don't know what it was. There was nothing. And after that, I checked when I got my... I tried, well, maybe the damn dentures don't even fit in it. The, they couldn't have gone down the drain hole in the first place. <laughs> so I was... Basically, this was... This was see, now, so I take this Zen fit, like, like the, uh, the lost dentures, and I create... And I, and I see... My whole life, I see my whole life in that plop. I see your life in that plop. What is the plop, you see? What is the, the, the dance of ambiguity where what's lost is what's found? Bam! They come together in a plop. They come together in a pop. They come together in a big bang. They come together in a, aha, aha! It was right here all the time. So everything you need for happiness is right here all the time. Everything you need for peace is right here. Everything you need for one taste is the ingredients you have in your life. This is like these kitchen shows where the, where the uh, boot camp for chefs and the chef has to look in the refrigerator and, take, and create a, a new meal, a new taste out of the leftovers. He has to create a new taste out of the ingredients he has. Anthony Bourdain, he was creating a new taste out of the ingredients of a culture. So he goes to these cultures, Thailand, Vietnam, Mongolia, whatever, and he discovers their taste. He discovers the taste they create out of the ingredients of their culture. So this one taste is the plop. You can find the one taste in your life by using the ingredients that you are given. If you're given cancer, find the taste, the one taste in that. Whatever you're given. Death in the family, death of a parent, loss, grief. Be Zorba and dance on the funeral pyre. Dance on the funeral pyre of loss and grief and disaster and chaos. You're given disaster, find the plop. You, can, you can't find it. You can't find it. You have to allow it. You have to see through it. You can't find it over there. You can't find the old hag over there, the princess over there. Suddenly they both appear. You see the hole. In one glance, you see the whole of your situation in one grasp. That's called gestalt. One grasp. And you see all the ingredients as one whole. And you know. And you laugh. Because you're having a Zen fit. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in. I hope I see you tomorrow.